Nestled within the historic Windsor Estate lies Frogmore Cottage, a property steeped in royal history and controversy. In 2018, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were granted the use of this five-bedroom home by the late Queen. The cottage underwent a significant transformation, costing a staggering £2.4 million, initially funded by the British taxpayers. But what prompted the Duke and Duchess of Sussex to reimburse this hefty amount, and why does the property remain empty over a year after their departure? Frogmore Cottage, a once divided and run-down set of staff residences, was meticulously renovated into a single grand home with a private garden. The transformation was intended to provide a serene and secure sanctuary for Harry and Meghan. However, the public outcry over the use of taxpayer money via the sovereign grant led to mounting pressure on the couple. In historian Robert Lacey's compelling book, Battle of the Brothers, he reveals the underlying reasons behind Harry and Meghan's decision to repay the £2.4 million. According to Lacey, it was crucial for the couple to clear this financial burden to silence the relentless media scrutiny. The sovereign grant, which funds the royal payroll, had become a point of contention, with tabloids using it to justify intrusive coverage of their lives. On their website, sussexroyal.com, the couple explained their intent to come off the sovereign grant, seeking to remove the tabloid's justification for prying into their private affairs. Prince Charles, then the Prince of Wales, offered sympathy and even financial assistance, despite the couple's substantial combined net worth of £30 million to £40 million. Yet, they chose to stand on their own, marking a significant step in their journey towards financial independence. The Duke and Duchess spent only six months in Frogmore Cottage before their high-profile move to North America in 2020. Despite relocating, they retained the cottage as their UK base and paid future rental costs. However, following the publication of Harry's explosive memoir Spare and their revealing Netflix series, they were asked to vacate the property entirely. Last month, Buckingham Palace confirmed that Frogmore Cottage remains empty, a detail noted in the annual Sovereign Grant Report. Speculation abounds regarding the future occupants of Frogmore Cottage. Prince Andrew was offered the property as a more suitable residence than the £30 million Royal Lodge, which he currently occupies without a source of income. Despite the King's ongoing efforts to persuade him, Prince Andrew has refused the offer, maintaining his long-standing residence. Frogmore Cottage's rich history includes serving as the home of Queen Victoria's loyal Indian manservant, Abdul Karim, and later as a sanctuary for Grand Duchess Xenia, sister of Tsar Nicholas II, from 1925 until 1934. The property, now caught in the crossfire of royal politics and media frenzy, remains a symbol of both regal legacy and modern controversy. The saga of Frogmore Cottage is far from over. As the royal family navigates the complexities of public expectation and private lives, this historic home stands as a testament to the ever-evolving nature of royalty. Prince Harry and Meghan's decision to repay the renovation costs was a pivotal moment, reflecting their desire for autonomy and respect. As we await the next chapter in Frogmore's storied history, one thing is certain, its walls have witnessed the past and will continue to be a silent observer of the royal family's future. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the corridors of Frogmore Cottage. Please like, share, and subscribe for more in-depth stories on the lives of the royals.